Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to step into the mystical world of Fusion. And I'm going to show you how to create a real simple text title just so you can get the feel of what Fusion's all about. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. So I know for a lot of people, getting started with Fusion is going to be a bit intimidating. There's a lot to it. There's like 200 and something odd different commands to use. So I figure we'll start doing things step by step so you can kind of figure out how things work and then figure out how to start playing around with stuff. So we're gonna start off by doing a fairly simple text title that's got some animation to it so you can kind of see what it's all about. So I've got my clip here and I'm just gonna pick a starting point here. I've got this clip and I'm gonna just click on the Fusion tab. Now this is showing me where the media starts and the media ends. And this is kind of the basics of Fusion. It's node-based, similar to Resolve when you're doing coloring, but very, very different because this represents a complete workflow. So I have at the top, I have two monitors and I can say what things I want in each monitor. So to add something, there's tons of controls up here or this bar that have a bunch of common ones. There's a number of different ways of doing it. I usually use the shortcut, which is shift space. And I'm gonna add a text plus node. So once this is here, now I've got some text in here and I'm gonna give it some text, learn DaVinci Resolve, and, oh wait, nothing's happened. Okay, what do we need to do? So I've got that text node, and I'm just gonna hit one, which is gonna put it in monitor one. If I put it in two, it's gonna be in two. I can turn that off, but I want my media out to be over there so I can see what's going on. But you see the text isn't on top of it, and we'll get there. So first thing I wanna do is position this where I want it to go. And now I need to add a merge node. I need to merge the text with the video. So I'm gonna create a merge node. And because I had the text node created, it's gonna put it next to the text. Now I need to somehow put it in place here with the other stuff. I'm gonna hold down shift and drag it there, which disconnected it from the text, but that's okay. I'll just drag over and put it back. Now we see that the output has the text on top of it. So fairly simple, nothing too complicated there, but let's go ahead and spice up this text a little bit. So a couple things I can do, well, there's a lot of things we can do, but uh, let's have it type it onto the screen. That's a fairly simple one. So what I wanna do is kinda get rid of it. So I can either do it from left to right or right to left. So we're gonna do it that way. So when it starts off, it's not gonna be there. Now remember how we do keyframes, we have these little diamonds here. So I'm gonna click a keyframe there so I know that's where I want things to start and give it a little time there. I'm just gonna drag this over so that it's written on the screen now. Now we go back to our beginning here and we start playing. Nice, it types it out. Of course we could add graphics, we could add different uh, graphical elements, lines and things and start building this up, which we will do over time. We're gonna just start with the basics and eventually as we uh, progress in learning Fusion, we'll be able to create our own title have that be part of the titles that are in Resolve, not in the Fusion side, but in the regular Resolve side, and be able to change a lot of the text attributes. So we'll get to that, but one step at a time, let's learn the basics here first. So now I've got it typing out the word, and there's a bunch of different parameters that you can use here. The layout, transforming, shading, all kinds of things. But let's go with some transforming here. And let's see how much time we have there. I wanna play that a little bit. 
Now I want it to go away. So I'm going to set a keyframe here on my spacing. Play it for a little bit longer. And now I'm going to have that stretch out on the screen. All right, let's go back again. Let's see what we've got going here. So go to the beginning. It types it out. Then it kind of explodes. And there that is. Big old stretch. And right as it's filling the screen, now I want it to dissolve. I think that'd be a good way of, of ending this. So again, you can pick through here and try and find other things that you want to do. I'm going to come down to, uh, and if I can remember where dissolve is, or opacity is what I'm actually looking for. So under our shading icon here, we have opacity. And I think I want to back this up a little bit. Let's see, right, I think right about there, I'm going to set a keyframe on the opacity. And just as it gets all the way out there, that's when I want it to go away. All right, let's see what we've done here. Okay, it types it onto the screen. It lets it sit there for a few seconds. It starts to stretch it out. And as it goes out, it fades away. Okay, now that we have this kind of workflow in here, we've got these different effects, now we need to see what happens when we go back to the edit page. So let's go there. So now here on the edit page, now we can see that it's gonna start caching this. That's because it thinks that it, it needs to do that in order for it to play back properly. And because I'm on this 2016 MacBook Pro, it would be correct. If I tried to play it back, it would play back a probably a frame and a half a second or something. It would be very, very slow. So we're just going to let it render here. It's only going to take a few seconds. But now it just looks like a normal clip. We don't see that anything is there. Uh, that's just kind of the beauty of how it's all integrated. So let's go to the beginning there. If you're like me, and there's times where you need to reuse assets over and over again, whether that be intros. And there we go. We've just created our own animated character-based title within Fusion. So in future videos, we're going to take that even further and really play around with how it works. But I wanted to give you a feel for how Fusion works. It shouldn't be that intimidating. You can sit there and just play and play and play with it and come up with some very unique things. So check it out in DaVinci Resolve. This has been Kerry. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.